One of my favorite authors on Clean Technica, John Asida, has just reported on what's going on at Giga Texas. 10,000 low-skilled jobs, 1 billion in costs, and construction to be completed in 2021. There's one really interesting point here, the costings for each part of the factory. I'm intrigued to know what you think. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. You are watching The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia at 6 a.m. on a Friday morning. It's another wonderful day on planet Earth, and there's so much great electric car, battery, renewable energy news today. It's like, pick which one to start with. It's awesome. Now, John Asida reports for Clean Technica that there are some new updates out for Gigafactory Texas. Now, we knew beforehand that Tesla was planning to create thousands of jobs in Austin building the Gigafactory. And this is one of the reasons I keep blabbing on about how important it is for American manufacturing to stay in America. And I don't think the Biden administration should just be supporting the union. I think they should just be focused on supporting American jobs in general. And to do that, we need to support all car manufacturers that are willing to make cars in America. Now, Reuters reports that the figure is about 10,000 skilled jobs for Gigafactory Texas, low skilled jobs, sorry, I should say. As far as manufacturing, Tesla is already running full speed ahead with its new Start Manufacturing Program, which recently held a ribbon cutting ceremony for its new facilities. Now, I just want to point out there's when Tesla builds a factory like this, what happens? Well, companies like Samsung, where who they're getting batteries from, and semiconductor chips from, and obviously they get batteries from Panasonic, but companies like that start up nearby, they're building a factory as well. And there's all these other companies that will start up and build new factories nearby to supply parts and things to Tesla. So it's not just these 10,000 jobs, it's probably another 10,000 as well if you put them all together. Now, Gail Alfar has tweeted that Tesla appears to have filed for approval for the five main sections of Giga Texas to begin operation with a total valuation of $1.06 billion. Now, Tesla recently submitted filings for the five main parts of Model Y production for the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, the TDLR. These outline Tesla's spending budget on various manufacturing capabilities at Giga Texas. In a nutshell, Tesla plans to spend over $1 billion on Giga Texas, and construction should be completed by the end of this year. End of next month, that is. So what are we looking at now? Five weeks until the end of the year, until Giga Factory Texas is finished. Now, I'm predicting we're going to see cars come out in January. That's awesome news. I mean, there's so many people in America waiting right now for their Tesla vehicles. Hopefully, this puts some downwards pressure on prices, especially for used cars, which is selling for more than new ones. It's crazy. Now, the filings also mention a budget for each section, and this is what interested me the most. Apparently, the General Assembly area cost $493 million US dollars, paint $126 million, castings $109 million. Now, that's the part that I find really interesting. I made a video about castings going on there. And just why I think that gives Tesla a huge advantage over the competition. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. Casting, 109 million US dollars. This to me is one of the most important areas. I mean, they're talking about taking 70 parts and turning it into one. Imagine the efficiency gains, the cost gains from that, enormous. Stamping, 150 million. Body in white, 182 million. In total, the facilities will have a combined square footage of around 4.3 million and a combined cost of $1.06 billion. Now, I think this factory is going to be probably three times more efficient than California Fremont factory. Obviously, Tesla has learned enormous lessons from going through this insane process of building cars en masse. I think that's something that Rivian and Lucid are going to discover soon. It's way harder than you think. Tesla plans to have both Gigafactory Texas and Giga Berlin start production by the end of this year. There are critical elements of its growth plan. Giga Berlin has run into some snags with so-called environmental groups that seem to only care about stopping Tesla rather than helping the environment. In bright contrast, Gigafactory Texas seemingly has the full support of the state government, except you can't buy cars, Tesla cars, in Texas. Surely that has to change once this factory opens. I mean, that's just insane, right? I mean, has anyone heard of these... If there's any changes to this rule, I don't think that I, I haven't heard them change that rule about being able to buy a, a Tesla from Tesla in Texas where they make Tesla. Weird. Anyway, 
with Tesla completing the first phase of a major manufacturing project, the $1.06 billion investment will enable Tesla to grow rapidly while producing as many as 500,000 Model Ys annually at Gigafactory Texas alone. That's a huge number. This is the first phase. Model 3, Cybertruck, and Tesla semi-production will eventually be added as well according to Tesla's plans. And I think it was a really smart move by Tesla to focus first on one model, the model with the most demand, the Tesla Model Y. And what I'm really intrigued to know is what's going to happen with 4680 battery cells at Gigafactory in Texas. If anyone has any insider information, make sure you put it in the comment section below. Now, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to make a guess. I'm going to make a stab on where I think the next Gigafactory will be. In fact, I made a video about where it's going to be. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. China, that's my bet. I'm betting the next Gigafactory will be built in the world's largest car market and the world's largest electric car market as well. Now, personally, I'm kind of surprised that there's 10,000 jobs. That's quite a lot considering you would think that the robots do most of the heavy work and the skilled work like forming and welding as well and making battery cells. So where are all those jobs going? I'm really intrigued to know. I know that some of it would be in delivery, some would be an admin, but 10,000, that's a lot of people. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm really kind of excited to see Tesla's Gigafactory in Austin, Texas actually start producing vehicles and to see well, more electric vehicles being sold in the United States. The market right now I mean, is pretty small. It's about 4% of all cars sold in America being EVs. Hopefully we can get that up to 20% really fast as companies like Tesla build more EVs, Volkswagen sells more EVs. Hopefully BYD can come in and start selling EVs in America soon. The future really is looking extremely positive in this industry. I love talking about it every day. Thanks for watching the channel. I'll see you again on the next one.